Hi there folks, my name's Ed Shalifka. Now I'm known as the Rock Hopper. Today, Cornwall, sunny Cornwall, beautiful. And I'm going to take you bassing and maybe a bit of rassing. And we're going down there. I'll tell you something, you know, one thing that's ever so important, it's a good pair of boots for this game. And nerves of steel. You've got to be very, very careful with this type of rock hopping because this is the sort of thing you've got to come up against, jumping little gullies. You know, make sure your feet are safe. And this one's not bad, it's just one little step across. But people get very worried about it. Dee, 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 dee. Dee, dee, dee. Dee, dee, dee. Do you know something? It looks absolutely perfect today. I expect to catch quite a few fish. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. It looks brilliant. This is a brilliant way of fishing. Absolutely brilliant. It's starting to take off in quite a big way, plug in. All you need is a light spinning rod capable of casting up to about two ounce. Small fixable reel. Loaded with eight 12 pound line. I usually like using a casting leader about 20 pound on it. And a selection of plugs. Landing net and off you go. Look for your fish, look for your marks. And it's surprising how much you learn, oh, how much you learn about bass, where they live, where they hunt, where they feed. Dee 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 dee. Come on fish, come on fish, come on fish. I know you're in there somewhere. We're on. Brilliant. Typical bass, jag, jag, jag. There he is on surface out there, he's not a particularly big fish. Dee, 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 dee. Come here, baby. Well, you gotta watch, they don't run into the weeds. But if they wanted to go, you can't stop them. You can't if you wanna lose all your tackle. Oh, I think this one may come off the hook. Oh no, he's all right. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, look at that. Just look at that, folks. Hey, look at that little baby. Hey, it doesn't matter what size they are. The important things are catching fish, catching bass. That's brilliant, isn't it? We came on a little slip. Hey, back we go. Brilliant. Number one. <laughs> It's an important thing when you're plugging for the old bass. Is any little bit of white water you want to fish in around because that's where they'll be because the white water is churning up all the food. And the bass are in there feeding. Everything ain't washed around. And we got this just here, just a nice bit of white water, just breaking on these rocks. Yes, fish! <laughs> I knew that would happen. Now this one feels a little bit better. He's staying deep and he's running off across here. Dee dee dee, come on baby, along here, along here. Well, I thought that one was a bit bigger, but he ain't. <laughs> we'll get the bigger one soon. 
Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Don't you wish you were down here with me? Catching bass? Hey? Really want to shake that lure out. Up you come. And they're getting bigger and bigger. Oh, the better size fish. There. A lot better size. Tides turn now. Most probably, like I said earlier on, the bigger fish are moving in. Look at that. Beautiful. Brilliant, isn't it? Just brilliant. Well, I'm going to have one more cast here. The tide's starting to push like mad now. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to get cut off or washed off here. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. What a beautiful morning. Plenty of fish. Tight lines for next time. Cheers, though.